What's going on there folks? Good evening to everyone out there. It is Earthmaster here checking in at 8.50 p.m. on this Tuesday, September 8th, 2020. Out here along the west coast here where we're uh, still experiencing some major fires going on out here. Just had a new one fire up pretty close to me. I'm sure you guys seen the update video or at least the uploaded video I posted here a couple hours ago near Oroville, California. It's a big one. It is definitely a big one. Let's go ahead and get into the update video here real quick a lot of activity to discuss out here far as some uh, new development up here around Idaho region they had a pretty significant well at least a moderate size 4.4 strike uh, some time ago earlier today since then since then there's been quite a bit of uh, aftershock activity following that earthquake that specific earthquake showed up rather nicely on the Yellowstone thumbnails here I'm going to go over here and show you guys real quick. kind of like to show how strong some events show up there. Uh, let's see here real quick. I'm going to go over here to the Yellowstone area real quick here. That's that 4.4 earthquake showing up on many of the stations across Yellowstone National Park there. And of course, like Old Faithful there uh, and a couple other stations are pretty squashed when it comes to data, uh, picking up data. But uh, for the majority, that earthquake showed up pretty strongly there uh, from the Idaho region. Let's go over here and take a look at all that activity real quick here. Um, you can see that right there, right in that same area where we've been seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity over the past couple months there. Uh, and that 4.4, just a uh, kicker, I guess, if you will. Quite a few folks reported filling it within the vicinity. Not, uh, not a major quake, but definitely a larger one uh, than what we've seen here in, uh, in some time few aftershocks there uh, of course this is a 2.5 and above this will show you a little bit more on the earthquake side up here as far as the multitude of them goes about 17 earthquakes well about 13 or so 12 or 13 within this vicinity over the last uh, 24 hours or so some earthquake activity up here along the Washington region along specific tectonic faults up here um, away from volcanoes yes there's volcanoes obviously everywhere up here along the west coast um, and, and throughout uh, Oregon and Washington. But this specific area, uh, not anything volcanic. This is uh, within the this little area, this little valley here where there's a river running through. Just a couple small microquakes. Obviously, you know, volcanoes within the region there would show, if, if they did have activity, volcanic activity, it would definitely show up on the seismograph stations uh, within that region. Uh, Northern California real quick where we're having some pretty big fires a little bit of activity up here east of Redding California just some microquakes and, and your typical activity there in the geysers near Cal in California right there this is very standard normal earthquake activity there at the geysers a lot of hydrothermal type stuff going on down there Southern California a lot of microquakes going on a new earthquake here little red dot here in a little weird area big pine california and of course uh, like i mentioned quite a bit of earthquake activity there in nevada as well that's kind of just what we've been seeing for a while as you notice out here in the pacific though we're getting another period of quietness a lot of quiet activity out here along the pacific ring of fire at least in this section right here this is kind of typically where we see a lot of activity when we don't see activity here, we see it up here to the north and also over here to the east along the west coast. And that's kind of what we're watching right now. Uh, I did have a little earthquake up here. A lot of folks, i seen that there on Facebook. A lot of folks talking about that. A little 3.9 up there in the United Kingdom region near London. A lot of people filling in. There's, I'm sure there's going to be quite a few reports there. That 3.9 um, popping in there to the region. Not a major quake, but you can tell. They don't get a whole lot of earthquake activity out there, so it is rather uh, strange in that area. Uh, just some light shaking going on. A couple of folks reported some moderate shaking there from that 3.9 earthquake there near London. About 30 miles, looks like about 30 miles from the downtown region there, or at least that star center area. So um, I'm sure shaking up a few folks out there. And uh, let's see what do we got out here. That's pretty it, pretty much it, folks. Uh, some activity down there in the Chile region, and also out here towards Samoa, but uh, rather quiet in the Pacific, I would say. 
Uh, getting real quick today in on this day in earthquake history, we talk about a pretty large event that happened down there near Mexico. I remember this one. I'm pretty sure I did an update video on this one. An 8.2 earthquake just off the shore uh, of Ch Chipatas, Mexico. Uh, it occurred as a result of normal faulting at an intermediate depth. Uh, a lot of uh, some major shaking going on from this 8.2 earthquake. That was a rather large one for sure. And also it looks like there was a 7.4 uh, near the Fox Islands in Alaska on this date back in 1909. And also a really large 7.9 earthquake there near southern Italy back in 1905. So this area right here around the Italy area the uh, Mediterranean Sea region can no doubt get some large quakes there. We've seen it in the past and there's no doubt there's going to be uh, a lot of big ones in the future but this was back in 1905 on this date here. Uh, quite a bit of uh, unfortunately some uh, fatalities there and a lot of damage uh, within that area following that large quake back in 1905 there. So pretty active day uh, throughout history on this specific day of September 8th. So far it's been relatively quiet at least here in 2020 for this specific date here but you never know it could always uh, pick up. Uh, take a look at the trimmer map real quick. I didn't cover this earlier. So you can see activity up here. Trimmer. This is way deep, way deep down at the, way below the surface, folks. Uh, Cascadia subduction zone, the slippage area, way down. I'm not exactly for sure the depth of it, but it's definitely not surface quakes. It's not even surface rupture. Uh, just some slow slip movement between the North American plate here and the subducting Juan de Fuca plate. That's what's being picked up there. A little bit of activity in Northern Cal and up there in Southern Oregon as well. So anyway, I got a little bit of activity uh, I need to do on this fire coverage here. So we will talk at you guys a little bit later. Uh, please stay safe out there. Have a good night. And um, yeah, we'll talk to you guys a little bit later.